Welcome back, everybody. This is, once again, the CBC Podcast for another week of uh, top news, I will say, this week. Um, we're very short on news, but we're hoping we're going to make it a good show. And we're promising without promising that this is the last of the uh, Gun Chronicles, as we're going to call it. So, <laughs> um, of course, I am your host, Armin. You guys can find me on Twitter at Arminis. And, of course, the comic book cast. Just Google that, one word. And I am hey. here with Mitch. Up, you can find me at Mitch692 only on Twitter, and also Tristan. You can catch me at is Jay Chance on Twitter, and Joe's not here because of class. Uh huh. See, there we go. Does he have class today? I thought he's just probably asleep or he's just like. I, I, I know the semester started soon or starts yeah. really soon, so I'm, I'm pretty certain he only has it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We have to record later on those days. Yeah. Mm. And uh, before we start, uh, make with uh, 10 bits. Hey. Yeah. So um, now that we got the intro out of the way, uh, let's get into the topics at hand. <laughs> well, <laughs> how about that James Gunn? We haven't <laughs> talked about that enough. Well, uh, can you bring up like the, it's the Frodo is finally over GIF? No. Oh, man. So, okay, it's been a long, not even a month yet. Actually, maybe it's coming into like it's a, month. a month. Yeah. Uh, this is San Diego on like the 18th of oh, July. Oh, so yeah. So. It's one of the two. It's, it's been a while. So, of course, you know, he was fired. There's been a lot of talk. And now, mm -hmm. as we know, James Gunn is not coming back. But they are going to use his script. Yep. yep. Which, I mean, it's it sounds too important for them to scrap. Honestly, I think it's a compromise. They realize they messed up, but Disney can't walk back. So they're like... Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. oh. yeah. They had... Was it? Is it Alan Horn? Is that his name? A Disney guy? I think so. I got Alan Horn in my head. Whoever it is, like, he took the courtesy meeting. You know, you couldn't ask for any more than that. Right. Uh, to be fair, they probably had like meetings, like private ones, but this was like a publicly yeah. known one. Yeah, right. Probably to see if they could, if they could possibly do rehire him, but this just yeah. filter. I mean, it probably wasn't even to possibly rehire him. It was just like, no, like, you know, this is how we're gonna handle this. Like you. That us terming in this contract, yeah, sort of right? Thing. Like, no hard feelings. <laughs> yeah, it's like you, you're not blacklisted from Disney, but we have to do something for this. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't sit here and let this slide. So, I imagine he'll be back at some point. Oh yeah, I, I'd, I'd laugh if they go James Gunn for Eternals. Yay! Uh, honestly, <laughs> it's been like six weeks. Remember how he's wa he originally came into Marvel Studios pitching Thunderbolts. Wouldn't it be something if they yeah, got him back yeah. for that? Because I think that could really work out in his favor. Like, Thunderbolt, it'd be a very different type of movie as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a villain movie, even though we just had a villain movie, I suppose. But yep. But no, it's it's what it is. Like, I think if you're one of these people that are going, oh, boycott Marvel Guardians three, but go see Avengers four, Captain Marvel, Spider Man. I think you're a bit dumb. You're failing. <laughs> yeah, you are failing the gif of Red Skull it's right like, there. Um, like you know the, the passion you got for it and the support you're showing all respect you know you, you do you um selective boycotts do not work no fun fact yeah you're gonna boycott everything but yep uh, i mean I know, it, you know it's, let's not turn this into a snyder cut situation like oh it's not gonna become i mean there's off there's <laughs> gonna be those viral. people you know it, there will be those people that are clamoring they're like I'm not seeing this and yada yada, but if we learned anything from what happened with Edgar Wright, who, I mean, you know, at the time, you could argue he's like, like the ultimate fanboy, one of us type of directors when he yeah. got kicked, by the time you just see a good movie, it's all good, but let's be real, the reasons the Snyder Cut exists is because all the movies have been terrible and people want to believe that he made some sort of Bible version of their favorite movies, <laughs> so... If the movies would have been good, people wouldn't be saying, give us an extended cut. So, it's, you know. True. True. Uh, I don't know. Like, What do you guys think, though, now is next up for him? Because we've heard the rumors that he might be being offered, you know, films by Warner Brothers and DC. And he's even said it a couple months ago. He's been approached by them multiple times in the past. So, yeah. I mean, I'd love to see him do something with DC. Uh, yeah. Same, yeah. Same here. Like. Maybe give him Green Lantern. Uh, that might be a bit too on the nose. I like, think oh, that's yeah, way too on the nose. Yeah, I think it um, would. If they didn't have Ava DuVernay, I would have loved a James Gunn New Gods movie. But yeah, again, that's still on the nose. But um, 
Swamp Thing, if they did a Swamp Thing movie. Nah, I don't, don't want to see that. Or like maybe even Justice League Dark. Mm-hmm. Like even Constantine, Swamp Thing, Zatanna. Everyone oh, else. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, to me, realistically, I'd want to see him maybe take something a little bit more out of his wheelhouse. But, like, you know, for what he's done with Marvel. But then I'd also want him to kind of tackle some of that grungier horror he's done before with, like, Slither and yeah. stuff. So, I, if they were to give him something, you know, a little more horrorish, like, yeah, give him Justice League Dark, like, with Dead Man, Zatanna, a couple mm-hmm. of those characters. I think that could be really good, especially if you give him a cheaper budget. I, I think that could be something real special, but... Hmm. Or give him Suicide Squad two. Wow. Oh wow! Yeah. Could you imagine <laughs> like, do you that? Want to go, do you want to go a bit left field? Give him that one. That, I mean, that needs to do it. No. they messed up Suicide Squad from David Ayer because they wanted to make a James Gunn clone movie. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know that, that's what they want him for. It's like, can you make a James Gunn movie for us, like you did with Guardians? Like, mm-hmm. You want that yeah. tone and that feel, so it could and actually be good. Yeah, yeah, there is as well. Yeah. Like, you know, like. Whatever they put him on, they they're gonna want that Guardians look like feel to it. So right, no, that's probably why I'm more thinking of stuff that is a bit on the nose. But <laughs> Mick Mick wants uh, him on a James Bond movie. That would be pretty weird. <laughs> I mean, James- some. <laughs> I mean, my whole thing is like, I want to see James Gunn kind of go out there and do something that maybe he's like we're not thinking of right and i think there's an opportunity to do that but at the same time right now studios are going to be all over him and i feel like sooner rather than later marvel would want to keep him on because i think if you're disney you're looking at him going well he's a valuable asset he knew everything we were planning what we were doing how we were going to set it up and he was there for like from guardians to help with, you know, introducing the Avengers and the Guardians together, and he was planning the future. You can't just let Warner Brothers take that type of mind, because realistically, they could hire him being like, hey, we want you to be our Kevin Feige. I know, like, yeah. then you've, like, homebred your own, like, big competition that people will rally behind. They believe he was, you know, fired unjustly. So that's that's a big problem there, too, that Disney's probably looking at being like, we should probably find a way to keep this dude in the fold, you know? Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. I think that's probably why they're still using the script. Mm-hmm. It's like, look, we're not going to throw it out. You are going to get a credit on it, because it's still going to be there. Like, whether how much is left over, like, if they actually even do get whoever takes over to rewrite a little bit of it, but they probably will anyway, but... Mm-hmm. No, his name's still going to be on the movie, so... Oh, yeah, totally. You would have thought that would have kept Batista happy, but apparently not. <laughs> no. No. Batista would always be mad. But... Not that I can blame Batista for being mad and speaking about it. Like, uh, he like, kind of has to calm down a little bit. Yeah. The time a, he's he's like, I'm pissed him. off, but I'm going to take your money. <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> like, the, you know, the way he's acting, he's like choosing his words really carefully. Like, mm. you know, he's, he's not straight up saying, like, oh, fuck Disney. Just right. like, oh, sarcastic. Thank you, Disney, oh. making America great again. Like, yeah, he has to wait till the check clears. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's... I know it's been a situation that's really like all over the place when you really just think about it. Because like, what? Because like they clearly fired him way too soon, and they know they did. Yeah. That's why they want to take meetings and like talk to him and stuff. But at the same time, it's like, oh well, you admitted defeat there, so you mm-hmm. know. It's just strange as well because like the same day people dug up a Sean Gunn tweet about a rapist. I can't remember what he said, but it's like there was nothing about that. Like, that didn't blow up at all. It's like yeah, it wasn't as targeted, you know. Yeah, but it's like I suppose that's the thing, isn't it? Like he didn't blow up, so he doesn't really warrant it. But yeah, isn't is that, that funny how that goes, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, is that the precedent we're setting now? It's like oh, you can say and do what you want as long as no one really notices. Like right. Just don't make headlines, but <laughs> yeah, as long as it's hidden away, and nobody cares it because you're not big enough. You're good. Oh, yeah. okay, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, it's it's a it was a mess of a situation. It's but it, you know it's, it's done now. It, it's over. Like yeah. But it, luckily, by the time the movie comes out, it, it's like what a year and a half plus two years. Yep. You know, people would have moved past it. No, no one's gonna care when that movie drops anyway. So. Mm-hmm. That's true. So, yeah. Um, I guess that'll end it for this week's gun show. 
uh, <laughs> insert gun noises. Bang, bang, bang. Well, Marvel Studios is moving forward with a brand new uh, movie start production in June 2019. Now, yep. when I looked at my upcoming release dates for the MCU, July 31st, 2020 has a release date. So this is that movie. Um, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Doctor yeah. Strange 2? That seems to be the front run at the minute, because the three that have been going around are either Black Widow, Doctor Strange 2, or Eternals. Bruh. Like, I, don't, I don't see it being Eternal because we know nothing about that movie apart from that it's in development. So, I mean, just looking at it, in 2020, we have May 1st, July 31st, and November 6th. So, unless Doctor Strange is going to get the November date again, then Black Widow or Eternals for July and Guardians for May? Would that seem like a pretty good lineup? Yeah, May sounds about... When did Guardians Volume 2 come out? Uh, That was in May. Yeah, that sounds about right for that movie. Yeah. yeah. Cause there's no way they delay that movie at all. No, I don't... No. Everyone's like, oh, delay it or cancel it. It's like, no, they're going to get that out when they want... <laughs> like, when they originally planned it, right? Mm-hmm. But, um... Yeah. Like, originally, I thought it was Black Widow. Because, like, you know, that's the smallest, easiest one. Yeah. But then again, a Black Widow movie in July, it's a bit... Honestly, to me, it seems like you I mean, would want to kind of like sandwich Black Widow just in there between two fantastic movies. But then again, maybe you want to throw it out in November as an action-packed, like, you know, mm. bookend the year. So I, I don't mean, know. If, I mean, if Black Widow is a spy movie, I could see it being in almost in the same spot with, like, you know, Ant-Man being a, a smaller summer blockbuster. Yeah, but it just feels weird to have a Black Widow as like the like your middle summer movie. Yeah, is Black Widow. It just feels weird. No, you would have thought like after Infinity War. It's just, yeah. it's just like how, how I see it is like this is like the possibility because I, I personally I wouldn't think like uh, as a Doctor Strange two would be a summer movie. I think after Infinity War and how he was portrayed there and how people keep talking about how Doctor Strange was in that movie, I think he's kind of maybe a little test of water thing and it's like let's just push him there like you know it's, it's going to be a completely different movie to the first one just with how he acts mm-hmm. and yeah. what he do so the, like, the spectacle of it is going to be bigger so maybe it's better suited for a summer movie but maybe I mean plus you know like what is it who, who did it was it Scott Derrickson I always get him and Peyton Reed mixed up uh, for which one Doctor Strange. Uh, Derrickson. Was Derrickson was, yeah, Derrickson, you know. He, he said see you in September, so I assume it, like, it's more likely mm. going to be that one. Yeah. And apparently you, there's people saying about Shima Gorath is going to be in it. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe it when I see it. To yeah. Be honest, but if it's Shima Gorath's a nightmare, that's, a, like, that's one hell of a Doctor Strange movie. That is. That'd be pretty epic. But, yeah. Well, Eternals, I don't know where the hell they put that, if it's going to be that soon. But I mean, Eternals, if if that was to... Yeah, it's so weird, because, like, we have four movies going into development, but there's three release dates, so just the way I look at it, unless one of these... Because 2021 has three movies again. We have yeah. February, May, and November, so... Ooh, that's weird. <laughs> but, like, it, let's just say hypothetically the Eternals is the November date uh-huh does that mean they're in Guardians that because surely that's the best place to introduce them in right and you're rolling off the back of like the Thanos saga or whatever you want to call it now mm-hmm. those two movies together so like you know he, he's a deviant let's have Eternals in uh, Guardians and then you can just spin them out of that and have it yeah yeah next movie yeah but... it's so weird um I, I mean from all what we know officially is that they've said that we should more or less expect the unexpected when it comes to the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, I mean, it's really weird because I I think something in there is going to shock us. I mean, I'm still going to keep saying they're going to do Namor and Kazar at some point, you know? Kazar? Yeah. Is Kazar the the Savage Land one? Yes. Oh, see, I was like, is he he saying Quasar wrong? (laughs) They've been developing his script since Iron Man 1. So it's got to be the tightest uh, script they've ever developed <laughs> at this point. 
Kaysar no. going to get Oscar noms. It's that good. Yes. <laughs> going to get Best Picture, my boy. It's going to be, uh, what's his name? Um, what, What's that dude from uh, John Carter? Tara Kitsch is going to play him. I'm telling you. I'm waiting for it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I bet you in the stream everyone's all, Kaysar who? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Didn't Nathan Fillion do the Kazar? Was it Kazar he did for one of the cameos for Volume Two? No, that was um Wonder Man. No, there was, there was a, he, like he did a couple of them. Oh, really? Because because Wonder Man was the the actor he was playing. Yes. But he, they did like several movie posters. Yes, yes. And there was one where he had like the weird like grassy like top thing on. Oh, and I can't yeah. think if it was Kazar or someone else. Huh. Or forget. Did we get into an A? It might have done. Okay, it's such an obscure character. Yeah, like, it doesn't even really matter. But it's just like 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 I've been arguing, man. Like you can go any direction now after like the whole you know multiverse type thing, whatever they're going to be introducing. So it's like if you show me superheroes riding dinosaurs, man, I'm I'm sold on that. You know, it's and it can't be worse than Jurassic Park, whatever the last one was. So it'll be good. Yeah, I mean, it it could be. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get a cameo of Devil Dinosaur. Yeah, I mean, yeah, why not? Yeah. Bringing Moon Gala, Moon Boy. I mean, we Jeff already have a dinosaur running around the MCU in the suburbs of California, so... <laughs> Facts. <laughs> you got Robert Downey Jr. as well. But do tush. No. It's an old joke. You get it? Hey, hey. I apologize Boo! for that one. That was really bad. <laughs> Boo! <was> really <laughs> <laughs> yup. The yeah. stream suddenly stops because it was that bad. <laughs> Everything just comes crashing and burning. <laughs> Oh, man. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, I think they're at the point where we're going to start getting four movies a year. Maybe yeah. even five, because... Well, I think five's the... Uh, a little pushing it. <laughs> five would be the breaking point, because where do you put everything? I mean, is it going to be a break? Because look at it this way. We know that, just from the leaks, that the Sony deal, right? They have to produce a new mm -hmm. Spider-Man movie every year. In 2021, we have February 12th, May 7th, November 5th, and a Sony film. And that has to be Spider-Man 3. So, in 2021, guaranteed we're getting four films like that. And there's probably going to be some Fox property to throw something out there, whether it's like yeah. Deadpool or something. So, yeah. we're going to get five Disney Marvel films. So they, they can barely cope now. Dude, Disney's already stepping all over itself. That's a problem. I was going to say, it's like, oh, let's put Infinity War and Solo next to each other. Like, why? Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> why didn't the Solo come out? Well, actually, to be fair, Solo... In December might not have been a good idea with fucking Out Command and Bumblebee and yeah. Runaways on the same bloody day, but yeah, mm. it's a no, bit of a you mess. Know, like a Marvel movie every four months. Cause that's, that's how it's going to have to be. We're going to start moving a Marvel movie every like, two and a half at this point. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's getting a little out of hand. And then, you could, and then whatever Disney's doing with Star Wars, that's going to be. Mm -hmm. It's like like can Disney start paying me to? see these movies right yeah <laughs> ain't gonna be able to afford it <laughs> <laughs> gonna have to be there every three weeks at this point yeah yeah Let's just pay my travel fare disney and uh, get me like an unlimited pass and <laughs> sponsor us there we go so yeah um i know marvel studios film it's in production but uh i guess when we know more about it we'll talk about it but pro bet money on doctor strange too if you have to like, yeah, it just seems right. Well, we've talked about it before. Marvel and uh, TV side merging into one, and there's definitely been hints of this because, uh, you know, the man in charge of Disney, he was given his big like, you know, update on everything that's happening. He even said we're looking at the Fox properties that we could be turning into TV shows and franchise otherwise. So they're definitely thinking about it, and. We've known for a while now that, you know, the fallout that happened between the TV and film side has kind of derailed everything to a degree, you mm. know. They're playing decent with each other, but not, like, as much as they would want to, so... so the, the, TV, the TV side gets the script so they don't tread on each other. No. Yeah, right, that, exactly. That's about as far as that relationship goes, but... If you want any further than that, it would all have to come under one brand, so everything's organized by Kevin Feige, which it seems like it's going to be happening, and brings us kind of to talk about the idea of what could and what will we be getting? So, um, I think it's a given. Right after the X Men show, get, like or the X Men movie, we're probably gonna have some sort of smaller scale, like you know, show that spins out of that. 
Yeah, reboot Generation X or something like that. Oh yeah. Yep. You know, maybe make a West Coast Avengers or okay. X Men something, like, something I mean, like that. At that point, you're gonna have a uh, Runaway still running. You could literally say Molly's now officially a mutant and spin that off into some mutant where she leads them or something. You know, like. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, even though they try to do the whole mutant fungus thing. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Uh, I still don't understand how that worked. It's like, oh, it's fungus. And you yeah. You're strong. Now how? Yeah, what does this mean? Okay. <laughs> it's like, mutant, she is a mutant, but we can't say she's a mutant, just the fungus is a mutant. Right. Well, I mean, let's look at it this way. So, the Disney streaming service is developing, apparently, two Marvel live-action shows. Um, yep. Hulu is interested in getting more. Netflix wants to expand their portfolio, and from what I understand, they're just like Star Wars is going to be looking to possibly do direct to streaming service movies, and like Disney's doing with Lady and the Tramp. Apparently, yeah. they're looking to toss down that same type of budget for the streaming service because Netflix is doing it with original films and they're doing massive numbers and profits. So, honestly, I think it's a matter of time before we get you know a film franchise that's streaming service only that's in the MCU. Oh, so yeah. it's I can see it being like a Miss Marvel. Like oh yeah. Malika. Like, you know, just, just pump a ton of money into like a movie is the savior doing CG over ten episodes or whatever. Mm-hmm. And have it looking the best it can be, but Right. And I can also see uh, Blade and Ghost Rider. Oh Blade I think is gonna be a movie. Like yeah. guaranteed for the streaming service. Uh, I'd, I'd put money on Blade, like people like Blade, Moon Knight, and Ghost Rider, Netflix. Yeah. I'd put money on it. I mean, would they want to give that much more to Netflix, though, because it's a direct competitor? To me, I feel like they want to give it to Hulu or something, you know? I mean, if they're still going to be in the game and like, still doing these shows. Like, yeah. You know, but. Hmm. Like, the, the, the likelihood probably would be that. So, like a Midnight Sun sort of thing goes to Hulu. Man, that would I, be incredible. <laughs> I, I don't know how... Because you know, wasn't there already talks like a Ghost Rider show with the Ruby Reyes guy? Yeah. I, you know, I'm pre- I think that was already for Netflix. So if they're already developing that, can it go anywhere else? Can they just go, no, sorry, we're going to take this and put well, it over I mean, here? It's ABC developing and Netflix is just distributing. So unless Netflix has a direct hand in the funding of it, I think they could just move it wherever they want. Well, I assume they do. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I think, like, having obviously yeah, the Defenders on like... Netflix is really good, but having an opposition somewhere on, like, yeah. Hulu where... I mean, yeah. I don't know if you guys feel the same way I do, but I think the Hulu shows so far and, like, Cloak and Dagger, the budget is way better than the Netflix show <laughs> so far. Like, miles ahead. Yeah. <laughs> like, um... Hmm. Thanks. Because like, I know if it, if it is, it probably could be similar to the Hulk and Universal with uh, Marvel Studios, right. where yeah, where Universal has uh, control of the distribution rights. Mm. Mm. See, I think it's a bit more than that with Netflix because they they're the ones that rushed out Iron Fist. Like, they're the ones that told ABC or whoever making it they have to have this out by then. Right. So no, like, because they had a deadline to meet. So yeah, yeah. Which in hindsight, like, won't want, we should have done that. But, no, and it's, it's, no, you'll get more TV crossovers with this as well. And you'll yeah. get, like, TVs to movies. So, everyone in chat saying they want Spider Man and Kingpin, you, you might get Spider Man, Daredevil, and Kingpin. Yeah, down the road, this uh, could happen if this thing all takes shape. I mean, it'll take a couple of years, but by then. By then, Peter will be older anyway, so it'll make more sense why you might want to hang out yeah. with a forty-something-year-old lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's probably just a case of like, oh, we were after the same person, and we bumped into each other. Right. Kind of like how Infinity War did it. It's like, oh, we don't actually know who you are, but here we're going to have a little fight because who doesn't want to see Spider-Man Daredevil fight for a little scene? Oh, that'd be awesome. And then, then go after Kingpin, but yeah, because that's how they like to do things. But, um. Oh, I was going to say something, then, but I forgot. That's why I should sleep. Damn it. Yeah. Or or King uh, Kingpin sues Peter Parker for defamation of his character. <laughs> I mean, you could go that route, depending how like if he gets to a point where he can do that. See, here's my theory, and I, I'm going to stick with this one for a while. I believe that the Spider-Man series is going to be the only one to pa- go past the trilogy besides Avengers. I think they're going to pull out like six movies with Spider-Man. 
Yeah, yeah. Like, with That's this awesome. Spider-Man until Miles takes over. Like, I strongly believe we're going to get a new Spider-Man movie every two years, and it's going to go for about 12 years, and then we're finally going to be like, all right, now we do away with the character. Like, Spider-Man is too big, and they cast Young for a reason. You know, like yeah, yeah. That that's like you just gotta kind of line things up and be like, yeah, this is what they're trying to do. You know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, we've always said that, haven't we? Really, like, there's gonna be like six, twelve of these movies. Oh yeah. Like, why would you get? A, you know, unless they really wanted to do Ultimates and they killed them off young, but mm-hmm. I, I don't know how that's the likelihood that's gonna happen, especially with the Sinister Six they're gonna have. Like, could they really do that? I don't know. I mean, but, they, could, they could just make another Sinister Six. Yeah, but then that's retreading old ground. Guys, it? guys, guys. Did you not watch the 90s cartoon? They're going to be the Insidious Six. The Sinister is too violent. <laughs> is that really what they were calling yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. That's, what, what, that's what one of the reasons why when they were called that in the Fox show. They weren't allowed wow. to use Sinister because that was considered too evil in the 90s. They had to be called yeah. the Insidious. Fuck yeah. that cartoon. <laughs> yeah, like they, had, they literally had guidelines on, on what they could do and couldn't do. And that was wow. one of them. I knew that was stupid shit, like he couldn't punch someone. Or, or something stupid like that, but I didn't know it was that bad. <laughs> what's the what's the point? <laughs> I want the insidious I want them to make a joke like when they make a, the team, like why should we call ourselves so it's like the insidious six and they just all look at them and pause for a second? Like it's that moment from Infinity War where, you know, Mantis says <laughs> kick ass and take names, so I can do that yeah, type of reaction. That, that was pretty much my reaction when you said that. It's like, <laughs> oh really? Uh... <laughs> But, oh my uh, god! You're you're gonna see like a lot of mutants in this. Like if this happens, like we know they're trying to do this little merger thing. Like it's not a guarantee. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You know, the, you you can tell they're doing it because I got rid of Jim Corey earlier on mm-hmm. in the year, which I thought was <laughs> last year. Oh man! One of the one of the rules was no real vampires. Oh god! Could you imagine if they do that as well? Like. That's the thing, like, I don't get with this whole merger, right? If this goes through, Disney can do whatever they want with all these franchises, yep. so... <sighs> what? No breaking glass. They couldn't break glass in that show. Really? That's cool. Yes. Holy, dude, the 90s were a different, like, <laughs> dimension, apparently. Yeah. Here's, here's another one, because Peter would have been on them. No hurting pigeons whatsoever. I mean, protect the pigeons. Like, yeah. <laughs> The flying rats are clearly an endangered species. Like they're not everywhere or anything. But... Uh huh. So, I mean, anybody got anything to add to this Marvel Studios possible TV and what could happen? I mean, we know we're gonna get X Men TV series. Like that's just. Oh yeah. That's the most obvious thing ever. Uh, chat. What would you want to see? Actually, let's like. Oh, yeah. Give us like what would you want to see out of this? Like, don't say Kingpin and Spider Man or Kingpin <laughs> and Daredevil. Like, we know you want that. Like, what do you, what do you fancy? No, you got unlimited possibilities in theory. Come up with just, something crazy. Just don't say movie characters in the TV show because that ain't gonna happen. Uh huh. Production schedule's not there. A Taskmaster show would be really cool. Whoa, that'd be awesome. Have Taskmaster be like jumping in and out of movies and TV shows. Yeah. That'd be really- well, here someone said um. Uh, Miles, yeah, Miles, we're going to get him down the road. How about Riri? Riri Williams. Aren't they making a movie? What is going on with that movie situation? So I don't understand. I've talked to someone. Yes, there is a very solid script. So there's actually a script for Riri Williams. Do you think streaming service? That would be freaking be. awesome. If they don't put Champions on there, they've made a mistake. Yeah. If you want kid-friendly stuff, do Champions. Mm-hmm. Like bringing Amadeus Cho, you can then go. Oh, look! It's the daughter of <laughs> Helen Cho from Major Voltron. He suddenly grew up really quick. Yeah. Or like how old he was, you know. But then again, you need Miles for that, and so he, could... he's probably like eight right now. He. All right. So here's the one show I'm telling you is going to happen: Dazzler. You know. Really. So. <laughs> no. Check out. Check out how you do this. Right. They're not, not going to target at us. They're going to target it at like. The super young generation. They're going to be like, look, it's a superhero, Hannah Montana, because it's going to sell so much just, merch. I, I was just about to say, actually, thinking about it, uh, superhero Hannah Montana. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that thing yeah. would print money for them. Like, it's yeah. going to be, it, it would be big if they do that. So, so basically, the meme superhero with air horns. <laughs> eh, it'll work. It'll work. Yeah. I was going to say, that would sell. People, kids would love that. 
Uh, okay, what else could we do? Um, someone said uh, Luke Cage and Black Jam. Panther. Yeah, Star Jammers. Yeah, Star Jammers would be cool. That uh, that probably have to be a movie. But I think, and if they're throwing ten million at a Star Wars show, you could probably actually do it for ten million episodes. Like. Yeah, someone said Gambit, but wasn't he supposed to have a movie? Yeah. Under fucks, yeah. Gambit so, would just um, be a side character. I mean, movie. if you look at some of the sci-fi like shows that they have, like when they had the Expanse and stuff, that was like three million an episode. You could do Star Jammers with a budget like that, and it would look like top quality, you know, Hollywood movie. So yeah. if you got the right people behind Star Jammers, damn. <laughs> Oh, yeah, with the right people, because uh, I'm thinking back, because someone said Man Thing, and I'm I'm, forget, I'm remembering oh. the Man Thing sci-fi movie. Oh, have you seen the um, the Infinity Warps Man Thing they just released yesterday for the comics? Yeah, that was cool. Man the... Thing Thang Thoom, it's like that's a mouthful. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> or like, so I think someone memed it, and it was the uh, the Champions Kid, and then Man Thing as well. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> that's funny. Actually, an Alpha Flight show would be really cool. Yeah. That would be really cool. Yep. So, oh, look, Canadian people now. Uh, I mean, spin that off as well from Captain Marvel. Ca- Captain Marvel yeah, can spin yeah. off into, like, five different things, so. <laughs> hey, most movies they got now can spin off into five I, different things. Really. I would honestly, I want a Marvel Cinematic Universe TV show set at, like, the edge of the galaxy. Like, unknown, you know, no yeah, real heroes yeah. can appear. Just, like, set it out there, sh- some familiar aliens, you know, and go with it. Like, set it somewhere where we're not familiar with what's happening so it can be its own thing and build its own mythos. So, I think that'd be Make it cool. a Nova Corps show. Oh, damn. Like, you know, you did cosmic police procedural. Done. Dude, Vancouver would be so lucky to get something like that for their sets. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Atlanta will be booming. <laughs> a Force will probably be a movie, I reckon. Yeah, oh yeah, it oh, probably yeah. will be. Dude, every yeah. single interview in the last like six months, there's always a question. So is there a female team up there? Like, well, we're looking at the opportune time, and if the people want it, we could probably do. It. I'm like, come on, just announce it already, Jesus! Like, it's just like we all know you've got it in. Like, you've got the script already. Like, calm down. Yeah, like, just, just say it. If you have a Riri like, Williams script, you have an A4 script for the love of God. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. I wonder if people will watch a Riri Williams movie. I mean, people say they won't, but the numbers are going to be there, so that's true. I suppose. Yeah, they're going to they're going to watch it because they want to see it fail. Uh, uh, all well, right, because sp- that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like it's kind of productive, right? Kind of. <laughs> There'll be videos of people burning the ticket that they paid to like, buy. Yeah, like would you paid for it? Uh, Hellcat, Hellcat's going to be Netflix strictly. Um, probably Daughters of the Dragon, I imagine. That's got to happen. Living. I need that to happen. Yeah. Um, along with like maybe even a Heroes for Hire if they do it that way. Mm-hmm. She could work in either one of those shows, really. But then again, Daughters of the Dragon. Why would you not have an all-female lineup in that? It's literally in the name, but. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think there's, as... there's too much you could do, really, at this point. It's kind of hard to think of stuff. That's yeah. I mean, the thing is, Marvel is not going to slow down. It's the biggest no. entertainment <laughs> brand ever. Like I'm telling you right now, like five years from now, you're going to be looking at at least like ten to twelve different streaming shows a year. Like you know. It's going to get out of hand. Actually, frick, we're already at like eight or nine, so you're probably going to be looking at like 15 yeah. plus, you know? It's going to be ridiculous how much they're going to do. They're yeah. not slowing down. Like, if this merger goes down, the announcement list is going to be like as long as your arm. Oh my God. <laughs> so we haven't announced all these shows because this reason, here they are, and it's just like in half a comic lineup. Just like, oh, I'm, just, <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for them to announce that they're going to be doing uh, Doctor Doom. Oh. Dude. Would they do Doctor Doom separately? Could you imagine if Fantastic know. Four gets a film franchise, but Doctor Doom gets a mini series? Oh, oh my god. That would be cool. Like, oh. streaming service. Or, would would that be R-rated? I suppose you could do an R-rated. I mean, you production. could. I would hope you do. <laughs> Just be like, this is the origin of Doctor Doom. Yeah. And cross it with the movies. But, yeah, that's true. Uh, like, but before this, like, you know, you could... It was easy to think of stuff. Because, oh, you've got limited stuff, get creative with it. Now it's just like, well, I mean, you could do anything. 
yeah anything like they're and, gonna have everything but some of the hulk characters back so it's like oh whatever and you know spider-man but let's be real spider-man's gonna come home in a couple of years anyway yeah. so that's you know it i is mean even it if is. he doesn't proper come back like sony's not gonna stop marvel from doing this no, is, this is not let them. the moment they stop that they know that internet culture is so yep. into this right now that we're not gonna let them live it down so they're like at a lose situation no matter what happens yeah. so they're like we it's have like, to yeah. do <laughs> it's like it's not the mcu version me yeah i don't want it so yeah. it's like it's like people thinking that he's only on a five movie deal it's like it's six yep. why would they ever sign a deal that doesn't let them at least have a trilogy like right no one likes odd numbers yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, oh, he's going to be in three other movies, but only two of his solos. Like, sure. Hell's... Even like THR originally said it's six movies. I don't even know why people entertain the four, like, five movies. I don't guess but... people are insane. Facts. I guess that'll put us uh, at the end of the main CBC podcast. So, of course, if you're listening to this on YouTube, iTunes, or wherever, just know if you tune in every week on Twitch, we do a post show and a pre show that you guys don't get to hear where we answer some questions and stuff. So, uh, you know, just make sure you guys check out our Twitch and everything else, and uh, we'll catch you guys for the normal, you know, here every week. And, you know, go to Twitch, watch us live. It's uh, more topics. So let's get into the pre show.